Hello everybody. Today I want to talk to you about something that actually a lot of people, I feel that a lot of people need to know, which is, you know, okay, you love computers, you love programming, and you want to achieve a good career, and you want to be successful in your life. So how do you start? How do you become someone that lands a good job opportunity, at the same time have all these information, have a good future, basically? Um, First of all, you have to have a bachelor degree. It's a master degree, a nice to have, but most importantly, the bachelor degree in computer science and information technology. And the more your degree is closer to the United States uh, as the country where software was born, the more you know legitimate you know people will see um, you. So basically, of course, there's a lot of people around the world are trying to you know achieve a degree like that they wanna you know have masters and do their PhD it used to be hard but today it's not really that hard today I I wanna tell you about um, a, a way where you get to have a bachelor and a master degree uh, from the United States without actually having to be there so whether you're here in the US and you're not you know you could just go there and you know um, apply for this university which is an accredited university you get to do your classes online and there's a lot of people actually from across the world who uh, joined that university um, and and here's the good thing about this university it's for free so you will pay nothing actually there's there's a hundred dollar fee just for the exams but that's all you're gonna pay that's that's all that's it from 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 the beginning till the end that's all you're gonna pay um, so how does that work? Um, the university is called the University of the People. You know, it's called the University of the People. Um, if I get to edit this video, it should be somewhere here down uh, the link. I'll mention that on my description video as well, just to make sure people are up to date. All right, so you, you went to the University of the People. You're following up with the classes, and you're doing it online. And the way you, of building your career you have to understand that the university is not going to give you everything. The university gives you the main points, gives you, it will open the doors for you, and it will give you a legitimate uh, certificate that says this guy actually understands computer science. So when you sit with someone and talk to them about algorithms or a symptotic time or something, they won't go ahead and say, oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. So you don't want to deal with these people. You want to deal with computer scientists who actually know what they're talking about. And the way to get there is simply by um, just going to university and uh, commit to it. The other thing is to get certificates uh, from the corporates that provide, you know, a, a certification for you to be uh, recognized as a professional, a valued professional. Now, since I'm a .NET developer, this is more most of my interest, uh, I won't be talking about PHP or Java, even though that Oracle offers uh, Java certificates as well as uh, uh, W3C schools offer certificates for PHP, which is cool, but on the Microsoft side, there is a, a, a virtual academy that Microsoft offers and when you go to that virtual academy they offer you all the videos you need for a kickstart and they refer you and they tell you that this video will help you go with a specific exam uh, when you become a Microsoft certified person that increases the chance dramatically increases the chance of you getting in a very good position even at Microsoft itself maybe at Google maybe at Apple whatever uh, Amazon maybe whatever the company is <clears throat> So, so you have the University of the People, and then you have Microsoft Virtual Academy. All right, that's good. So you have these two ways, one practical and one theoretical. The third part, which is very important, is to read. You have to read. If you don't read, you basically are going to be an ignorant programmer. And there's ignorant programmers. These are the ones who are they just can't keep up so they're still using really old styles they use for example for loops instead of just using for each and 
a link expression so uh, or lambda expression and and you know if even if you don't understand what i just said you will in the future if you're going to follow these footsteps so all right so you got the university microsoft virtual academy and then you have to read and i will provide you with um a website that actually allows you you can just go to amazon and use the kindle and get books for 10 12 dollars you have to actually invest in your mind for a while you get you, get, you have to put a plan for like four years make sure that you're living with someone or actually can afford to live for four years just building your brain and after that all all the success begins you can't just say i'm going to start making money just from day one just because i knew some javascript or html that's that's just basically not how things work you need to actually gain that skill and the beautiful thing about programming is that it doesn't require so much you just need a computer and a keyboard and you're good to go so up front if you really want to be something in software development world you have to invest in your mind you have to actually put some effort to create a good knowledge base before you go out there because today the world is about ideas an idea like uh, windows everyone is using that or most of the people are using this operating system it was an idea facebook was an idea whatsapp was an idea google was an idea this is this is how an idea actually can make you happy you know can make you able to afford for yourself and millions of other people <clears throat> so all right so reading you have to read and you have to check out the new stuff that's blogs for for, for of course the people who are going to follow the dot net and microsoft uh, way then you have to go on msdn that's a subscription usually you know you could if you're a student you get to have these things for free so there's dream spark this is the website that you need to get free software if you're enrolled in a university they will give you visual studio for free they will give you microsoft sql server for free just because you're enrolled with a university and when you're enrolled with the university of the people it, this university is a, a microsoft partner so you will have a student number that allows you to go to dream spark which is another website that i'm going to give you so you need software that's the tools uh, the dream spark will provide you with all the software that you need all right so you have the bachelor degree certificate you have the practical certificate and then you have the reading and you have the tools that you're going to use what's the last thing these are the five things that you need to use and that's the end of the day the last thing is get involved in open source projects you will learn what you can't find in books and what you can't find in uh what you what you want here in college and what you even won't get in your certificate get involved and by getting involved means go to github and learn how to use github which is version control download the c-sharp projects that are in there and start contributing by putting functionality you will get criticized sometimes people are very very sharp and very very hurtful in their criticism but you need to have a little bit of a thick skin in order for you to move on so that's all that's it that's that's how you achieve a career it's five steps if you commit to those for five for four years or five years you will be good you will your life will change dramatically and it's not really a it's not really a rocket science all you need to do is just to do these very specific steps and when you get to that level you will make all the money that you dreamed of and you will actually go anywhere in the world that's the whole idea uh so down there if you're watching this on youtube you will uh see the websites that i mentioned in my uh in in, in, in just a speech that i'm telling you and i'll try to edit that video so i put these websites um down there you know so you would learn and you would know what you're actually trying to do just google you know microsoft virtual academy the university of the people and Amazon, of course, I assume you know Amazon um, for your books and Dream Spark. You'll only get that. You actually get to get a free version of Visual Studio, even if you're not a student, but you will need a professional. So stick up with that. 
And the last thing is GitHub. So uh, this is very important if you want to make a career. And good luck.